but it's difficult work sometimes to get all the detail. I've made little tiny buttons out of clay. I've made a zipper out of floral wire. All kinds of little details that we have to figure out how to do. You know, it's a passion project and we care. I'm Elisa Stern and I make stop motion Doctor Who called Doctor Puppet. I'm obsessed with stop motion, I'm obsessed with Doctor Who. And that hadn't really been done before, like no one was crazy enough to do it. <laughs> so I thought, gosh, maybe I'm the one to start it. You know, let's make it happen. I made one puppet, which was the Matt Smith puppet. I took photos of the puppet, I, I tagged it Doctor Who, and then fans found it. So that was kind of a new experience for me, and it was really satisfying to know that other fans were into my fan art. That was in 2012. It was a few months before Christmas, and I said, you know, maybe I should make a stop-motion animated Christmas special. I never got so much attention for something I made. And one thing led to another, and then suddenly we have this outline for all of these videos and we've been making them for five years now. This is my apartment slash studio. <laughs> it takes up a lot of room. I got some of my friends involved. Considering our confined space and how tiny everything yeah. is, we do. I'm very happy that I have small hands and a small body to get around. We work at 12 frames a second. So you can imagine how many frames it takes to make a, a video that is three minutes long or five minutes or the one we're making right now, which is going to be somewhere between eight and nine minutes long. Dr. Puppet started as just a bunch of still photos on Tumblr and now we've basically made an entire Doctor Who episode right here in my apartment. <laughs> Doing Doctor Puppet has made me realize how special Doctor Who is, and it's just made me more and more of a fan with every passing year.